how much taxpayer money should go to fund drag queen story hours on military bases? You know, drag, drag queen story hours is not something that uh, the department funds. Well, wait a second. Uh, that's actually not what the record seems to suggest. You were going to fund one at Ramstein Air Force Base. That one got canceled, but that's DOD insignia. That's a drag queen story hour for children. Then also at uh, Malstrom Air Force Base outside of Great Falls, Montana, you had a, a drag queen story hour for kids. At the Joint Base Langley Eustis, you put on a drag queen story hour on a Saturday for the first ever kid-friendly diversity, equity, inclusion summer festival. And at Nellis Air Force Base, you had the Drag U Nellis on June 17th. Who funded these things, Mr. Secretary? Listen, uh, drag shows and, uh, are not something that the Department of Defense uh, supports or funds. So. Well, wait, why, why are they happening on military bases? I just, I just showed you the evidence. Why are they happening? I will say again. This is not something that we support or fund. Well, you, so you think hosting a drag queen story hour on a military base isn't supporting the drag queen story hour? I stand by what I just said. But, but you may stand by it, but it's belied by the evidence over and over again. I mean, are, 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 are you aware of the uh, piece? Uh, Biden's military, Air Force Base in Montana, holds drag show, drag queen story hour for kids in the Western Journal. Are you aware of that? Again, I will but, say what I've said yeah, before. You're saying what you're saying, but I guess it just doesn't comport with the facts. General Milley, this will be my last time to question you. You mentioned two years ago that you wanted to better understand white rage. And so my question is this. Did you read this book? No, not at all. What is, well, it, what, it, it is, a, What is White Privilege is the book, and it's actually written by a DOD official, a senior official in diversity, equity, and inclusion, and there are now hundreds of these books in dozens of schools, and I wonder if you guys connect this to your problems with recruiting. I've never read it, never seen it. Um, I, frankly, I don't even think about that stuff. I think about well, put readiness. Up the next, put, go ahead and put up the next about slide. About the readiness of the force. Go ahead and put up the next slide, please. Okay, well, in, in the next slide, this is a tweet by one of your employees in charge of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and it's, it's patently racist. They say that uh, she had to give Karen the business that she talks about caudacity, presumably of Caucasian people. So I guess terrible. why does the I, I, look at I, well? Why is that person? Like you're not going to argument for me. That's terrible. It's wrong. She shouldn't be doing that. Period. Should she be fired? I don't. That's a DoD employee, not U.S. military uniform. Do okay. I should they I be would, fired, would Secretary Austin? Uh, again, as you heard at your uh, subcommittee here, uh, this this incident was investigate it and, uh, and and they're courses. still employed mr. chairman I have a series of unanimous consent requests since my time has expired but objection uh, for, first is joint base Langley Eustis holds drag show at kid friendly festival and the next is US military defends drag show at largest training center as quote essential to morale and the next is Nellis Air Force Base hosts first ever drag queen show essential to morale and readiness that's a Breitbart piece and uh, finally, Ramstein cancels library's drag queen story time for Pride Month following criticism. Well, objection, so order. Gentlemen's time's expired. Can I just, can I get copies of those? Because I'd like to take a look at those myself, actually. Take a look and, and find out what actually is going on there. Because I, that's the first I'm hearing about that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't read those news stories. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to take a look at those because I don't agree with those. Well, they're think, now in I think the official those record. shouldn't be happening. Period. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for that admission. Great. I would like to point out, uh, Chairman, that uh, our, our students in Dodia schools scored the highest on uh, the eighth graders and fourth graders scored the highest in math and reading in the country. So I want to thank uh, all, of the, all of our Dodia uh, professionals who made that possible, and I encourage them to keep it up. Well, I hope you're not thanking that one. Yeah. Gentlemen, time's expired.